Adapting the song about losing a grandmother due to a hit and run by Santa is a great idea, which is why the animated Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer is a beloved Christmas classic. Grandpa's gonna sue the pants off for Santa. That's what Grandpa's gonna do. Woo-hoo! Grandpa's gonna sue the pants off for Santa because Grandma would have wanted him to. How do you make a light-hearted animated movie about drunk grandma getting murdered by Santa and then dealing with the grief on Christmas? You don't. The Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer animated movie came out in 2000 straight to VHS in October, so just in time for Halloween. But then, as if kids weren't already tired from wearing out their VHS tapes for the last couple of months, the WB channel also aired this in the slightly more appropriate December of that year. What would the holidays be without Grandma getting run over by a reindeer? Kids WB presents the one hour special. This movie is surprisingly not done by Golden Films, despite it looking very close to a lot of their 2000s titles. It was actually put out by Phil Roman Entertainment, which only has a few titles to its name because it's a subdivision of the much more recognized Film Roman Company, which is probably best known for Garfield and Friends and the original Garfield specials. Why is there another version of Film Roman? I don't know. I thought maybe the similarities with this and some of those Golden Films movies would make sense if the same overseas animation studio was working on it, but nope. It was Hong Ying animation on stuff like Little Angels and Miracle in Toyland and Coco Enterprises who animated Grandma Got Hit and Run by Santa. But I mean, really, look at the Can Clark boy from Little Angels who looks almost the same as the lead boy Jake in this, which also has Cam Clark in it as the businessman Austin Box. No kid voicing for Cam this time, that would have been Cam Overload. Jake! Nice stop. I'm tired of living like this, if you can call it living. Susan Blue, you know, RC from Transformers, voices the agnog loving grandma, but also did the voice direction as she did on many projects, including the 87 and 2003 TMNT shows. And fans of Beast Wars might also be excited that both Venus Terzo and Scott McNeil are in this as, uh, voice. Yes, very exciting. As the casting of the special was handled by good old BLT Productions, we also have some voice actors from Ocean DBZ in here, like the original English Frieza, Polly Newstone, who also plays voice. Maggie Blue O'Hara, who is actually credited as a specific character, was also in DBZ as Bulma, but from when the Ocean dub picked back up in 2000. And that's your important Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer and DBZ Connections update. After the extremely underwhelming title card, we are just smashed right into good old Grandma getting smashed in the face by Santa and his goon squad. And for some reason, this weird white background opening is the special home video version, as the TV one had the opening titles and logo appear over the first scene. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Grandma got run over by a reindeer, all right. And as incredible as that was, it almost put an end to Christmas. Wow, I can't believe that incredible vehicular assault almost ruined Christmas. How rude of that, Grandma. Yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got here. Mm. It was December, and everyone in Cityville was caught up in the chaos of the holidays. Cityville, located beside Townburg and Building Zone. That's me, Jake Spankenheimer. Spankenheimer. What, were they worried that the movie about Santa trying to kill Grandma wasn't silly enough? Speaking of, old Grandma Spankenheimer just straight up named her store Spankenheimer. Not even Spankenheimers, it's just the Spankenheimer. Which seems to be mostly a toy store at first glance, but they also have random food items including baguettes. I guess it's a jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none store. Cousin Mel is scaring away another customer! You can stop right there, that shoplifting missy! To be considered a customer, Typically, you have to pay for what you're taking. No money, no merchandise. 
No way! Your credit is always good here, Martha. So, Martha here was just gonna be allowed to grab this gingerbread house, walk out of the store with it, and you would hope that she would tell you about it and pay later? Guess old Grandma Stupidheimer has a sign up that says shoplifters will be encouraged. This store can't get rich selling holiday pastries on credit! Money? Ugh. I'd say we make enough. Of course, not enough to not have kids working in my store, but I'll happily sacrifice Jake's childhood if it means letting people steal from me. A set of replacement wheels for my rollerblades. Adding to your Christmas wish list. Sisters. Yeah, sisters. They always be wanting Christmas list updates. So annoying. A computer nerd who still believes in Santa Claus. Ah! Daphne, stop teasing your brother! Who cares about the light teasing? Jake just tried to take Daphne's head off with that pillow throw. He started it! <laughs> LOL! Dogs exist! What the hell is this giant Christmas scheme Jake has on his giant whiteboard? Tell her, Mom! Santa Claus is real! Well, uh, historically, there was a Saint Nick, so Santa today represents the true meaning of Christmas. That's not the answer I wanted! I'm a stupid brat! You're looking at the new inflatable Christmas tree manufactured by the Cityville Own All Corporation. But our family always goes out and gets a real tree. It's not Christmas if we don't actually kill a tree! I'll give them, though, that an inflatable tree for your interior decoration instead of a normal artificial tree seems pretty stupid. Wish they had Christmas trees like that when I was a boy. Here we go again. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, ah, ah. Where's the jabbing yourself with pine needles? Why is Grandma Heimer against this tree? Wouldn't they have gotten it from her store? I'll get my fishing boot. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Get out while you can, cause we'll be right back with more grandma cut run over by a reindeer. The day I met the most powerful man in Cityville. Excuse me, I'm... Austin Bucks! You mean THE Stone Cold Austin Bucks? Or maybe it's Fang McFrost Austin Bucks. He was probably almost called that. That's such good shit! CEO of the Cityville Own All Corporation! Own All Corporation! So Austin Bucks is the CEO of Disney then. Grandma says you own everything. Well, not yet, but that's why I want to speak to your grandma. Wait, so the Own All Corporation is a lie? There goes my childhood. Right now, Grandma Elfenheimer is reading to the kids. Well, that's not funny, but it is better than your real name, you stupid little idiot. You wouldn't happen to have an extra elf costume I could wear. Nope, but there's a troll costume. Oh my god! Lord, it's troll backwards! What the hell's the matter with me? Well, Grandma Elfenheimer. Mr. Austin Troll Bucks. Is this how this guy bought everything? By being so pathetic, they're like, eh, might as well unload my business to this doofus. I don't suppose you're dressed that way to yeah. read Billy Goat's Gruff to the kids. I did it so you'd listen to my offer to buy your store. Yeah, the negotiations just got serious. Your store sits on the perfect place to build the crown jewel of my empire. Gifts delivered on Christmas Eve by our new Slaymobile. Ah, oh, yes. He can't do deliveries from any of his other buildings he owns, including the ones right beside the Krappenheimer store. Jake, do you think I should sell the store? Oh, yeah! Grandma got run over by a reindeer. So evil Cousin Mel thinks they should sell the store because, get this, she thinks they should make money. What an idiot. That's not what business is about. And Nobody makes money off Christmas! How dare you, Cousin Mel! I love this place. There you have it, from the mouths of babes. Surely you're not gonna let Jake make such a big decision. She'd been drinking too much eggnog. Cousin Mel was wrong. 
You can keep a store going on Goodwill and Baked Goods. Or should I say goods that get you baked? This is one high Christmas for me. You'd think Grandma was single-handedly supplying the entire free world with Christmas goodies. Well, she is supplying a lot of the city, right? She's got a damn Christmas store. Is this a year-round Christmas store, too, or does she, like, shift focus to, like, random ties in the window off-season? Guess you're playing with your life if you sit in the desk seat on the box bus, which looks like it holds about three students. Anyway, it's time for a hilarious song citation needed about fruitcake sucking. <laughs> Yucks a nope! Grandma's killer fruitcake! I'm afraid Doofus got out again. They named their dog Doofus? And we're supposed to think Cousin Mel's the asshole? This will for darn sure make everyone sick. That ought to stop people from shopping at the store. The fate of the entire store can hang on one ruined fruitcake? Really playing on a thin margin over at Spankenheimer's. Also, if the store isn't profitable at all anymore, that might make Austin Bucks not willing to pay that much for it anymore, Cousin Mel. Jake notices Mel spiking the fruitcake, so he makes sure to not say anything about it. Maybe Jake is just getting a little tired of all the child labor. Careful, Grandma. Don't drink too much eggnog without your medication. You think at my age you'd outgrow an allergy to eggs. So that's how they're gonna try and break the lyrics of the song here. Grandma's not drunk. She's just stupid. Let's adapt this song into a movie, but we don't want to actually do what the song says, so we'll misinterpret it as much as possible. Where'd I put those pills? I've got some mistletoe and holly. Yeah, that's about the same as pills. R.I.P. Grandma. Who's gonna help me with the decorating? Can't. Sorry, Grandma. Got to dash to the Ooh, gym. Ooh, would love to, but Frank. The game's just starting on TV. It's a loving relationship these two have. Good night, Jake. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Grandma got run over by Tone Whiplash. It's too late to go out now, Grandma. She'd been drinking too much eggnog. You've been drinking too much eggnog. Oh, it's okay. She had mistletoe and holly after. And we begged her not to Please, go. Please, don't go. We're begging. <laughs> You'd think I'd just go with you, but I don't love you that much. We then see the most mind-blowing animation ever of Santa flying by the moon. Guess this means Jake will be able to fight Reptile at the bottom of the pit if he gets a double flawless victory on Austin Bucks. Merry Christmas to all! And to all- oh! Grandpa, we believe. Yes! Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Run Santa over Claus. by a reindeer. Oh, he is real. So I guess in this version of events, Grandma didn't see Santa coming for her, even though the beginning showed him smash right into her face. Grandma got run over by Santa's reindeer. Jake, close the door and get in here. Now, honey, you must have had a bad dream. We care so little about Grandma, it's not even worth us looking out to see if anything at all did happen to her. Grandma needs help! The only person who needs help in this family is Goku! You saw what happened, didn't you, Grandpa? I'm sorry. Were you talking to me? I was too busy watching Grandma get run over by a reindeer-drawn sleigh. Yes! What the hell kind of reaction was that? I guess Jake really did want Grandma out of the picture. What a sight! Slay come out of nowhere! This movie seems to think making Grandpa slightly senile is how to get out of making him a monster, but they are pretty loose on how far gone he is. And really, him seemingly being excited about seeing his wife's death is a pretty bad look. Nothing is out there. Santa cleans up his crimes. Santa hit her with his sleigh! Call the police! Santa's been arrested! Grandma got run over by a reindeer! That's right, officer. Missing. Here's what I say we should do. Summon the dragon using the dragon balls. All our problems are solved. And what did you see, young man? I saw Grandma get run over by a reindeer! Sorry, son. Impossible. Right here in the manual. There's no such thing as Santa Claus. Oh, it's the We Wreck Your Childhood Police. Don't 
We got a code 1225 Santa Claus is Real Syndrome Family Dispute. I'm glad they made the female cop a Fargo reference. All the kids love Fargo. When we found her Christmas morning, she had hoof prints on her forehead. Well, now you're just defying the song and completely going against what the lyrics say. And incriminating claws marks on her back. We're just gonna blatantly ignore the song now and show you some bullshit. How do we know it's grandma? A food cake! Okay then, I'll just put it down a slay hecular hit and run. I like making grandma murder. Real fun for the kids, don't you know? That started the biggest grandma hunt in Cityville history. How many grandma hunts has Cityville had? Months went by. I even got permission to put Grandma's picture on milk cartons. What? He personally went in and put that on every milk carton instead of just getting it printed on them in the first place? Grandma was nowhere to be found. Grandma's Christmas gifts remained unopened. You just left her gifts sitting around for nine months? And people dressed in black. You know, as you do when you think someone is just missing and not dead. Clearly the everyone dressed in black line from the song was saying her funeral happened, but we just nonsensically do it in this cartoon. Grandpa tried to cope by playing cards with Cousin Mel. Grandpa really does take this too well. He did in the original music video as well, getting rather disturbingly close to Cousin Mel. Guess they were just planning to get rid of her there too. Also, Grandpa and Cousin Mel are being played by the husband-wife team who sang the song Elmo and Patsy. Without Grandma, customers stopped coming in. Without Grandma, the demand for tit, uh, and affolds just plummeted. Not even a sale on HLA could get people to come in. Did anyone ever tell you you're very good looking for a man with deep pockets? <laughs> Was that funny? I was dusting. Well, go dust somewhere else. You can't tell me what to do. Get over yourself! Are you still interested in buying this establishment? I have the deed right here. Unfortunately, your name's not on the deed, just Grandma and Grandpa's. I guess Cousin Mel never actually bothered to look at the deed she had possession of. Anyway, much like in the music video, Mel and Grandpa get overly schmoozy with each other and go on a big date. Grandpa got run over by some incest. But Mel could be from the other side of the family! That is not weird at all! Grandma spending Christmas with a superstar Since that reindeer ran her down that fateful night Yeah, this is clearly a man stricken with grief. She's standing under the mistletoe with Elvis I love singing about my wife getting together with other dead people What the hell is the matter with me? He's been consoling her because she's missing Gramps. No one is missing you, you miserable jerk ass. Okay, I'll sign. I wasn't attached to her or her stupid store. This is it, the last of Grandma's fruitcakes from last Christmas. You're selling almost year old fruitcakes? No wonder people aren't coming to this store. Oh, do you think it's still good? It's a fruitcake. You'd think her son would be more upset about her disappearance and possible death. Guess Jake was the only one who cared about the stupid crazy old bat. Watching Grandma get run over by a reindeer drone sleigh. Yes! Then again, maybe not. We're gonna be rich! We're gonna be rich! We could retire? We don't care about the store either! Yeah! So, absolutely everyone in the family is happy about this, except old jackass Jake who comes in being a sourpuss. I've gotta stop her! Get over yourself! Jake is so determined to ruin everyone else's life, he blows by the Apple store, which is pretty hard to believe a kid his age could resist. Oh no! Please don't buy Grandma's store! Cousin Mel's attorney. I am Slime. This movie really went downhill when it became Slime and the real dead grandmas. Sorry, Jake. My mouth is trying to escape my head. I just need more time to find Grandma. You got it, kid. This deal doesn't close till the end of the week. I don't want this deal to go through, I guess. 
You've tried your best to find Grandma. Give it up. Really? No one else in the family liked Grandma, did they? To Santa Claus at SantaClausIsReal.com Sounds like Santa doth protest too much with that address. Let's see. Yep, there's absolutely nothing at that domain, so Santa's lying about his realness. All I want for Christmas is my grandma. Can you help find her? P.S. She looks like this. Some more info might help, Jake. Like her name, her address... You might also remember her as the person you ran over last Christmas. Thanks. Jake Spank. Shut up, Jake Spank. You've got email. Santa prints out every email he gets? Not very eco-friendly, Santa. Not a single letter from Cityville! Well, I might as well shave my beard and cancel the holidays. If they don't want me in Cityville, screw the rest of the world! Yes, Quincy! What's this? Ho, ho, ho! The mystery of Grandma X is solved. So it turns out Santa kidnapped Grandma Spankenheimer after almost killing her and has left her in his intensive care ward for almost a year. Kinda wonder about how often Santa's running people down for him to need that. So, yeah, real shocking that they changed the intention of the song again from Grandma's being murdered by Santa to just hitting Grandma napping. Though, I suppose in the original music video, Grandma did show up again after her death in the song, possibly also kidnapped for a while by Santa and then just chucked back down the chimney. So, anyway, even if taking Grandma back here for care was the best call after the accident, you can't tell me that stupid Santa couldn't figure out where to take Grandma back to. She was still in the driveway. Spankenheimer. Nope, never met her. Oh, and Grandma didn't tell Santa where to take her because plot amnesia. But you might ask one of those short fellers. Classic case of amnesia. Can't remember a thing. Is this the first time you've checked in on her? It's been almost a year, you jackass. Email a reply immediately. I mean, I could take her back to her family who I've stolen her from for months, but I'm not a taxi. Hi, I'm Quincy. Santa's elf. You're an elf. Nothing gets past you, Jake. Ah! <laughs> Why did that happen? Grandpa, I'm going to the North Pole to find Grandma. Fine. Thanks for telling me. Let me know if she's dead or not, or if you die. I don't care. Does that bridge just lead to the middle of a skyscraper? Austin Bucks, you suck at designing cities about as badly as you do naming them. Make us stop hurting. So Santa said to Mrs. Claus, there won't be any Christmas. The feeling's just not here. Oh, get over yourself, Santa. We'll just have Christmas without you. You better have a good reason why you broke elf code and brought a human here. I hate all the children of the world, especially the ones I've personally wronged. It's nice to finally meet someone from Cityville who still believes in me. Yeah, I believe you're the ass who almost killed my grandmother and never returned her. There's someone here who wants to see you. Okay, I'll bite. Who is he? Someone we'd all like to forget. If you don't come back right away, she's going to sell your store to Mr. Bucks. I'm more concerned about the stupid store than I am your health. Stealth, thy name ain't Santa. Ow, 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 ow. It's Grandma! Mr. Bucks will call off the deal. There goes your fortune and my 50%. 10%. 30%. You were already trying to finalize this thing. These details should have already been worked out. And, uh, you would be... Santa Claus! You're Austin Bucks! You wanted a Lieutenant Neutron action figure! Wow! That convinces me! Santa then tells a third version of running Grandma over. This time, he hits her from the side. Maybe they're all true. He just repeatedly ran this woman down. Thanks for straightening out this whole mess, Santa. I'm eager to see Grandma and tell her the sale is off. I love canceling my deals. That's why I'm a mega tyrant who's trying to own this whole city. So consistent. <laughs>
Slime hauls Grandma off to witless protection in a cabin, and honestly, Grandma probably shouldn't be making any decisions at all regarding her business right now, considering she doesn't even remember her name. Grandma! We couldn't find her anywhere! The man in the red suit here admitted he ran over her. I demand that you have Santa arrested- No! Nah, that seems pretty fair. Santa should answer for his crimes. The news that Santa had been arrested for the disappearance of Grandma was a shock. Santa's been arrested! Santa Claus must be worth a fortune. Then we sue him for all that money. And here comes by far the best song to come out of this silly special. Grandpa's gonna sue the pants off of Santa. That's what Grandpa's gonna do. I never knew I needed a song about suing Santa in my life, but here we are. Grandpa's gonna sue the pants off of Santa, cause Grandma would have wanted him to. Legit, the suing Santa song is kind of amazing. You don't need to sue me to get my pants off. Add that to the lawsuit. Oh, fair enough. And now we arrive at the Santa Trials. <laughs> yeah, this movie really went places. What can I do, Grandpa? Find Grandma. Again. Go do it on your own, though. I don't care about you or her. Who would do such a thing? Cousin, cousin Mel. It's... Fun that our cousin kidnapped our grandma? Anyway, Jake, of course, immediately tells his parents about what Mel's done. Just kidding, they're useless. Okay, doofus, do your smell thing. Shorthand for BSS to the grandma cabin. The jury is about to find your friend in the red suit guilty. And who would that be? Oh, so she's suffering continual memory loss? Good thing Santa kept her with his top-notch doctors for so long. Jake busts Grandma out of cabin jail, and it's her magically horrid fruitcake that pops her memory back. In the matter of the state versus Santa Claus, we the jury find- Stop! Santa is innocent! Overruled! Guilty! Honey bunches! <laughs> oh, that ship has sailed, dude. Oh! <laughs> My mom ain't dead. <laughs> you and the jury would taste this fruitcake and then compare it to the pieces of cake found at the scene of the alleged crime. This trial has become a mockery. Now taste state's evidence number 12. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! The rotten fruitcake from over a year ago now is bad? Guess he's really proven how innocent Santa is! Jake's stupid point is about Mel's secret ingredient added, which was a reindeer nip and somehow absolves Santa of not controlling his reindeer. And I suppose Jake has an answer to the charge of leaving the scene of an accident? Slayhicular negligence? This is a note Santa left at the accident scene explaining everything. Dust it for fingerprints. Yeah, it's got your fingerprints on it, Grandpa. Guilty. Also, what the hell is this perspective? Did Santa shrink Grandpa? So, yeah, Mel took Santa's Sorry, I might have killed this old woman outside your house note, but that doesn't get him off the hook for never bringing her back. In fact, Mel taking the note barely would have mattered at all if he had just done that. Anyway, Cousin Mel is sentenced to be hung by candy canes or something, and everyone is happy because they are easily led sheep. Do you really think I'm gonna sell? I don't want to buy it. I want to franchise it. Open Spankenheimer General Stores all over the country. So, really, I'll still get control of your store like I wanted, just in a different way. It's okay to do business with this evil guy now, because... Mel is out of the picture? Oh. So, Jake, what do you want for Christmas? I already got the best Christmas gift ever. The controlling share of the store. Your selfishness has destroyed Christmas forever, Jake. Lose my email. Not that one. It's Cousin Mel's. Oh, no. Not again. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Ah! Ha, 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 ha. Grandma didn't recover from that one.
What a dumb movie. It's based on a song about something rather dark when you really think about it that much, so of course they just changed it into a bunch of nonsense about Grandma Nisha with a kidnapping Santa. The rest of the family is horrible, either due to their lack of caring about the disappearance and possible death of a family member, or just letting Jake go off to die on his grandma hunt. Also, Grandpa is a cold, callous monster and sang a happy song about his wife's death. It was no accident that he contaminated that Santa note piece of evidence. And now I'm gonna have too much eggnog and forget about this. Ah! What's your opinion about? I'm the grandma running down champion! Suck it, Santa!